question four we have Suvat and forces. So Rory uh, pushes a box of mass 2.8 kilograms across a rough horizontal floor against a resistance of 19 newtons. Rory applies a constant horizontal force. Uh, the box accelerates from rest to 1.2 meters per second as it travels 1.8 meters. Part 1 for 2 marks wants us to calculate the acceleration of the box. Okay, so what do we know in terms of the movement of the box? We don't care about the mass. Well, we know that originally the box was at rest. So U is zero. We know it accelerates to 1.2 meters per second. So the final velocity is 1.2. Now we also know how far it travels. Uh, 1.8 meters. So S is 1.8. It. And we want to work out acceleration. So, is there a Suvat equation that links U, V, A and S? So you're given these in the formula part at the start. The one that we want is V squared is U squared add 2AS. So, okay, so, blanking in our numbers, we get 1.2 squared is equal to 0 squared, 0, add 2as. So, 2 times 1.8 is 3.6. So 1.2 squared is 3.6a. If we divide by 3.6, we get a is 1.2 squared over 3.6. Uh, remember, you can use calculator. Well, it's got a common factor of 1.2. So that's 1.2 over 3 which is 0 0.4 meters per second squared. Cool. Okay, then part two, another two marks, wants us to find the magnitude of the force that Rory applies. Okay, so let's do a little sketch. So, there's our box. Let's attempt to draw Rory. There we go. There's Rory pushing the box. So, we know that the box is moving overall. We know that there is a resistant force of 19 newtons and let's call the force that Rory applies let's call it uh, F it's the cool thing to do so we also know that force is mass times acceleration so 
2.8 here times 0.4. Now that gives us 1.12 newtons. So that means the resultant force experienced by the box is 1.12 newtons. So, 1.12 is equal to F minus 19. Therefore, F is uh, 20.12 Newtons. Although, I guess we usually go to three sig figs, so 20.1 Newtons. Cool.